Okay, today we're going to make up some brake lines for the airplane. This is a stainless steel braided plastic inside tube uh, brake line. The plastic tube carries the brake fluid and the stainless steel braiding as a protective cover over it to keep it from getting it braided or crushed. We need to install this end connector on this braid line, brake line. It uh, makes a connection for hooking it up to the brake reservoir and other parts of the airplane. First thing we need to do is spread out the end of this brake line. We have a little tool that helps us spread it out. We'll push this on here and it just helps separate the stainless steel braiding from the brake line. There we go. Now we need to install a little, the actual seal. It's a little brass ring that goes over the inside plastic tube and underneath the stainless steel braiding. And it actually makes up the seal. We'll push that on with our tool. It's got to be all the way on and perfectly flush on the end of the plastic tubing. The tubing is actually PTFE. It's a kind of Teflon polymer, I believe. Take a look. Seems to be on there solidly. Now we'll put our connector on. Like this. Take our it has a little piece of steel tube that goes inside of the plastic tube and the brass connector seals against this uh, chamfered surface here. We'll put a little bit of lubricant on the stainless steel and the brass collet. A little bit of lubricant on the threads of the connector. Push it on. Make sure it goes on solidly. Hold some pressure on it to make sure it stays on there. We'll push the threaded keeper onto it. Once it starts threading, we'll use our wrench. While we're pushing, we'll tighten it up. Tightening this up compresses the brass collar against the tubing and the outside of this steel connector we're turning on. And once we get that turned on to within a 32nd of an inch of the center here, it will be solid. Square it up with the rest of the thread, the rest of the flats on the nut. And there we have a completed connector. Should be able to withstand about 2,000 psi of pressure. Plenty for what we're doing. That's it for today.